Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to make a keychain the easy way with the Monoprice Select Mini. This is Tinkercad, it's a free online uh, CAD program, it's really easy to use. So first what you do is you grab a box, we're going to make the base of the keychain. 80 millimeters by, I think I do 30 millimeters here, it's, it's, a, it's a good size. And then we have to make it thinner, so let's go about 3 millimeters because we're going to add text to it. There we go, we got us a rectangle, but that would be the size of the keychain. Now we're going to punch a hole in it to have a place to hook it to your keychain. I find about 5 millimeters works great on this, so I resize this hole. The colored ones are solid objects, the, the grayed out ones there are holes. So now let's drag this over on top, kind of get it where you want towards the edge. And then we're going to select it all. And we're going to hit that button up on top that says align. And one of those ears, we grab that, that aligns it to the center. There we go. And now we group it together. When you group it together, it merges those two files and you, you end up with a hole. Now we bring the text in. I'm going to change it to screen name I use on a lot of forms, Snow Kid. So type that out. Now we're going to have to, you know, it was shown in there that's a solid. Not the, on the other side's a hole if you want to cut a hole in it. Resize it so it fits on here. That was 30, so let's go about 25. That gives us a little bit on each side. And I find about 70, 70 works pretty good. Now I'll get it kind of lined up towards the edge and so you get the hole for your keychain. Select it all, and we're going to align it again. Align it to the center of the, the tile. And I forgot one thing when I when I typed out the text, I didn't, didn't get the, the height of the text, so I'm going to select it here as soon as the video gets to it. So I select it, we change the height, that was 3, so I want the text to be 3 millimeters, so I select 6. And then we're going to group it one more time. And it's, I think it didn't group it here. So we group it, there we go, and there's your finished product. Hit export there up on the top right, and export it as an STL. There we go. Let's, let's come into Cura. This version of Cura that I'm going to use is an older version. I have more than one 3D printer, so instead of having to select which printer I'm using, because I always forget which one I'm using, I just use an older version for the model price. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go into the view mode and you're going to select layers. And you're going to figure out which layer at what that your text appears. So on this, 15 is the last one, 16 is where the text starts to get printed. So go ahead and save this, this out as G-code. Just hit the, you know, the SD button up there or up the file or whatever. And open up your G-code in a, in a notepad. And at the top here you'll see it's got all the different settings for your printer. How, what the temperature is, how many, the print time, all that good stuff. So what you do is you go up to edit and find and you type in layer colon and then 16 and it'll bring you down to layer 16 and then insert a line it's going to switch here in a second to the next screen insert a line right below layer 16 that says m 600 go ahead and save off your g-code bring it into your printer and here's the time lapse of it printing so it's laying down the first layers. It's a monoprice. It's got the build tech on it. And just, so go go ahead and it's printing away. Don't go get yourself a cup. You know, get yourself a cup of coffee or whatever. But that was said 40 minutes. So about 20 minutes later, come back, and the machine is going to pause for you. Go ahead and change your filament. And when you're done changing your filament, hit unpause, and it'll keep printing away the the new color for you. It's pretty cool, huh? So, all done. There you go. There's your keychain. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.